Bună ziua! Ședința Consiliului Științific Specializat de 521-03-21-64 a Universității Libere Internaționale din Moldova o consider deschisă. Pentru că toți membrii și recezenții oficiali sunt prezenți. Acum o să vă fac cunoștință cu membrii Consiliului. Deci, domnul... Adică, eu personal sunt președinte, adică myself, I'm the chairman of this council, doctor habilitatus and university professor. Mrs. Pestushko is the secretary of this council, doctor in economic sciences and confidential, shall we say, assistant, assistant professor. Correct. Mrs. Doga Murzak Mariana, doctor habilitatus in economic sciences and. Associate Professor, Domnul Catan Pietru, Mr. Catan Pietru, Dr. Habilitatus in University Professor, Mr. Menin, Alon Zvi, Dr. in Economic Sciences. In reference of the chair, Domnul Academician Stratan Alexandru, Dr. Habilitatus in Science and Economic, Professor in University, and Mrs. Sirota, Iulia, doctor in economic sciences. All of the people have uh, publications, which is uh, and the requirement of the Anacek. Cum o să fac cunoștință cu decizia Anacek? Se modific componența Consiliului Științific. Nu, 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 aici. Mă scuzați. Se aprobă modificarea în Consiliile Științifici Specializate ad hoc, după cum urmează. Se prelungește valabilitatea pe un termen de trei luni și se modific componența Consiliului Științific Specializat de 521-03-21-54, aprobat prin decizia ANACEC numărul 2 din 26 noiembrie 2021 care se expune în următoarea redacție. Consiliul Științific Specializat a Universității Libere, după cum v-am spus, de 521-03-21-54, Universitatea Liberă Internațională din Moldova, abilitat cu dreptul de a organiza susținerea tezei de doctor în științe economice a doamnei Busra Masri, Israel, cu temă International Education Mobility in Israel as a factor for forming the knowledge economy. Mobilitatea academică internațională în Israel ca factor de formare a economiei cunoașterii. Specialitatea 52103, economie și management în domeniul de activitate. Conducători științifici. Domnul Crutencu Iuri, doctor habilitat profesor universitar, și doamna Robu Elena, doctor habilitat, conferențiar universitar. Deci, în rest, eu, conferențiar, corect, eu am spus. Nu. Eu n-am spus, am spus, conferențiar universitar. A să fie habilitat. Sau profesor. Ok. Referitor la ce eu acum am spus, cred că nu sunt probleme. The main elements of the program of the meeting of the specialized ad hoc scientific council for the public defense of the doctor thesis. 
Eu deja la primul v-am informat de de ce am auzit Specialized Scientific Council, prezenți de council members, în oficial referenți for the public according to the Anacek decision. Next, the chairman presents the candidate of the scientific title. It's not me, I think. Trebuie să vă prezint. Dacă doriți, poftim. Poți să vă prezint. Deci eu, după cum am spus, eu sunt președinte, doamna secretar, doamna Pistușco, doamna doctor habilitat, doamna da, Măcentu și domnul profesor universitar, doctor habilitat, domnul Catan și recenzenți, domnul academician, domnul Stratan și doamna Sirota. Сирота. Окей, мерси мол. Она же не черная, на свет. Я вот наверху, но она тогда, но ее не кранича. Now I, I want to ask the secretary to present uh, documents on the, of the applicant's file. The correspondent is the, norm, of the normative act of Zanacek. Answers the questions if we will arise in this regard. Please. Candidate for the title of scientific director of science economics has presented all the documents necessary for sustaining the public, such as the decision to form the Council of Scientific Specialists, the thesis of candidate for the doctor of science economics, the training of the seminar of scientific profile, lista lucrărilor științifice la tema tezil, avizul pozitiv al seminarului științific, avizul conducătorului și adivinința de depunere a tezii de doctor în Biblioteca Națională și în celelalte biblioteci. Deci toate documentele sunt în regulă și în documente conform cerințelor anăcetului. Vă rog, dacă sunt întrebări, if you have questions, please. No questions. Ok? Știu, da. Now, we'll propose to candidate for the specific title to present during 20 minutes for the doctors. It's required from Anna Czech the content of the thesis and the result obtained answer and after we'll answer to questions if we'll we'll have please mm -hmm. hello my name is uh, Kushra Masri I am a a PhD student in Olim and today I would like to present my PhD research. The theme of the disease is international educational mobility in Israel as a factor for forming knowledge economy. My supervisor is Professor Oren Krupinko and I thank him for the process he is leading me from. The relevance is the result of a systematic investigation of data using the regression model, which is translated into a theoretical economy model that enables the implementation of the main factor for improving economic knowledge, minimizing the trend drain and increasing the demand of foreign students. The economy theoretical model is translated into a schematic model that was issued to the Israeli implementation authorities and is suitable for immediate implementation. 
The ideas of the model are to transform the model into a national mechanism that will be responsible for increasing the knowledge economy in Israel. The current research problem is the effort of academic mobility in Israel on the development of economic knowledge in Israel. This issue is very relevant because it provides a comprehensive picture of the global trend and the future observation of influence that already exist but have not been investigated. First, academic mobility of foreign students to Israel and their academic integration. Second, analysis of the demand of a foreign education in Israel. Third, analyzing the global effect on traditional industry, increasing the professions of economic knowledge, transition to service professions, adult education, and the last one, the innovation of a model to increase economic knowledge in the country through academic mobility. The main goal is to emphasize the effect of the academic mobility on the knowledge economy in the local industry of Israel. And to find the creative action and implementation of these ideas on the modern economy of Israel, the author has chosen to focus on the flowing goals, analyzing the academic mobility and the brain brain in Israel, interpreting the contributing factors from the knowledge economy from the foreign higher education students and research, presenting innovative solution for dealing with the connection between knowledge economy process and increasing the academic mobility of foreign higher education students to Israel. The methodology process includes four chapters with an in-depth analysis of industry data inflation, GNI level, GNI fixation level, new definitions of all economic knowledge, academic mobility. Also, the phenomenon of academic mobility presented by the OECD, the European Union, the United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO and a graphic analysis of Israeli academic mobility, the transition to the to a knowledge economy and innovative industry, and the global need for socio-economic cooperation. In the in the second chapter. The other analysis the situation is it is in Israel. In the third chapter, the other characters a regression model for analysis. The model is based on observations of variables such as brain drain phenomenon. The numbers of international students of higher education in 
faculties of engineering and computer DG, GDB growth national product tax collection and the development of industry in Israel traditional modern in the last chapter the other presents the conclusions and recommendations to the state of Israel the numerical data and cost cross choice of the data will be presented in graphs and diagrams to analyze the findings and conclusions. The first chapter review worldwide theories on globalization issues, global economic and development process. Also, an explanation on terms as national product, academic mobility and its impact on the economic and society in developed countries. In addition, there is an academic discussion that includes expert opinion and presentation of research in the subject of knowledge economy, its reasons, its advantage and disadvantage, meanings and influence on world, economic, industry and occupation in several countries. You can we see in the table the impact in Canada and United States, Japan, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Britain. For each country, the product growth is presented compared to the economic growth. Later, in that chapter, the academic mobility is reviewed and its characteristics, sources and economic social changes it brought. This study, academic mobility influence, knowledge, economic professionals, the state product due to professionals integration and Policy change, regrading study, students arrival and their integration in labor force. This influence result in academic and research growth, innovation and international relation promotion. The whole process, their research has performed described in the chapter starting with term definition and analysis of the global term mobility trend indicating the issue of high education students academic mobility it is all examined from global line point of view that indicate knowledge economy development in Israel and its link to discussion marker policies in Israel. Models and data of many countries who copy with similar economic social dilemmas are presented in order to have a reliable comparison of the presented data. Later in the research, the researcher companies a quantitative questionnaire tool that examines 120 students, researchers, officers, point of view in economy, thanks to have shell image that confirms or refers 
the research hypothesis. The research the researcher used in the thesis in various research tools test sperma analyzes the current situation in the state of Israel, the academic mobility which refers to the flow of higher education students to the Israeli academic institutions and will as to the Israeli higher education students to the foreign academic institutions. This analysis of comparison to what is being done in other countries in incarnated to examine the influence of the academic mobility on the economic knowledge in Israel in order to examine its influence of the industry, academy and education as well as on the Israeli society. The ESMOS organization currently operates a center in Israel which serves a, as a mediating factor between international students to their various programs within the definite academic institutions. The program is divided into three, three main academic tracks. Semester long studies, full length studies, research program for MA students and researchers. The PhD program is open or open for registration as well of course, but only few choose to study it. In recent years, 40,000 higher education students on average leave Israel every year. The analysis is done due to the understanding that such a process increases the problematic trend on of brain drain. Most of these Israeli students which comprise of 50% of the medical students, CBS, do not return to Israel once they have graduated. They are observed in their life and work in countries that encourage work immigration. The main reasons raised in the this is are high academic demand, various fields of studies, academic level, quality of education and fa facilities, occupational opportunities after component of studies, work immigration. Okay. The main conclusions from the survey questionnaire. Lots of students and the future students leave Israel to get higher education outside. The main reasons are economic, the costs of living, the future wage and the social conditions. Many also believe that studies outside are better from the professional point of view. The majority believes it will not be hard to find proper employment in Israel. 
but most of them do not plan to come back. Edge negatively correlated with the belief there will be suitable implementation in Israel. In other words, the older the respondent, respondent is the more education they have, the more interested in students out of Israel. Believing local, education is not good enough and proper employment is difficult to find. The more educated the respondent is the more high plan to study economic best studies, the least specified from the quality of study in Israel and more they consider studying abroad. Chapter 4 will analyze the value of the academic mobility as far as, as the abilities of the economic knowledge are concerned. The other of the current research mostly admits to find models and methods which shall improve both factors and lead to the creation of a mutual effect. This mutual effect shall, on the one hand, increase the academic mobility of foreign higher education standing, standing into Israel and on the other hand shall carry a meaningful contributing, contribution of the foreign higher education students into the growth zone of economic knowledge in Israel. In order of their research, suggestions of physical model, which is subset to serve as a management platform for the integration of the academic mobility. This recommendation for the model has to do with the narrowing down of the brain drain of professionals which, which are necessary to Israel and of higher education students wishing to study abroad. I suggest this an economic model which is subset to provide a hands-on offer of for company needs the necessary of influence of higher education students on the economic knowledge in Israel and upmost use of the human resource which exists in Israel. All of the above designed to, to narrow it down the extent of the brain drain phenomenon and to prevent the dependency on the human resources abroad. Of all the variables which are which were received in the regression models, the affecting variables had mainly to do with such economic variables as gross domestic product, GDP, gross national income, GNI taxes, revenues, 
and mask of all the country portion for they have very various occupation and the traditional and the advents in the study. My conclusions from the research are lots of students and the future students live, live Israel to get higher education outside. Also, the main reasons are economic, the cost of living, future wage and social conditions. Many of the students believe that studies outside are better from professional point of view. The majority believes it will not be hard to find a proper employment in Israel, but most of them do not plan to come back. In addition from the Spearman correlations, it was found out that each is positively correlated with education and negatively with satisfaction from studies in Israel, positively with considering to study abroad. Age is negatively correlated with the belief there will be suitable employment in Israel. In other words, the order the respondent, the more education they have and the more interested in studying out of Israel. Believing local education is not good enough and proper employment is difficult to find and addition the more educated the respondent is the more they plan or to study economic best studies the least specific from the quality of studies in Israel and more consider studying abroad. This common This recommendation has to do with the narrowing down of the rendering of professionals which are necessary to Israel and of higher education students wishing to study abroad. The other of the research suggests an economic model which is supposed to provide a hands-on offer for company needs. The increase of influence of higher education studies on the economic knowledge in Israel on the one hand and an utmost use of the human resources which exist in Israel. All of the above are designed, designed to narrow down the extent of the brain drain phenomenon and to prevent the dependency on human resources abroad. Here we see two <coughs> application letter of local uh, other authorities in Israel who have chosen to at both some of the thesis ideas and the gun to employment benefit program for local residents in order to help them to decide it, they should stay in the city rather than go to study abroad and stay abroad as usually happiness. Thank you. For listening. Thank you very much. You. Now, <coughs> please, if you have questions.
students on average uh, left Israel uh, outbound students every year. Uh, the analysis is done due to the understanding uh, that uh, such a process uh, encouraged the problematic trend uh, of a brain drain must uh, of these Israeli students which comprise of 50% of the medical students uh, do not uh, return to Israel uh, once they uh, have uh, graduated. Thank you. Thank you very much. I also have questions. Question. <coughs> What will be your opinion about uh, the influence of the academic mobility of the knowledge, economic knowledge in uh, Israel? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for the, your, your questions. Uh, I will uh, explain uh, it by slide 8. Okay. As you see this, see uh, this student's academic mobility influence uh, on the knowledge economy, uh, professionals, uh, the GDP product, deal uh, deal the professional integration uh, and policy and policy regarding students arrival and their uh, integration in labor force. This influence uh, result in academic mobility and research growth, innovation and international relation promotion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have more questions? No? No. no. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You can have a seat. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the, our scientific secretary will uh, inform us about the recommendation which the candidate will receive here now and how she responds to this recommendation. Please. Deci, în cadrul seminarului științific de profil, candidatului s-au făcut anumite, au fost expuse observații și recomandări. Deci, sunt în număr la 20 observații, la care autorul deci, au dat lămurire și au făcut corectări de necesare. Deci, toate au fost rezolvate și deci, răspunsurile au fost argumentate pentru fiecare observație. Altii nu au fost. Altii nu au fost. Mulțumesc mult. 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 Is, uh, next will be our uh, advisor well, of the yeah. <laughs> Please, uh, <laughs> we have to know about your opinion about the candidate. Thank you. Uh, I have two advisors. Uh, <laughs> no. Надо сказать, что госпожа Душа поступила на Бубин, на докторантуру в 2013 году, в 9 лет. И поступило 30 человек, из них защитился один. Второй, 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 это третья. Вот, все, ну еще, может, что-то будет. Ну, тяжело, тяжело было, конечно, жутко. Меняли специальности, меняли те же самые темы. Вот. Но в конечном итоге я дошли до этого, до этой ситуации. 
госпожа Бушева старалась и она опубликовала сейчас у нас 18 работ, в том числе и за рубежом, мы, Израиль, Молдове, в том числе и в журналах. Тяжело было, но тем не менее преодолели проблемы. Не подмышлись, сама она попала в Ивану, и тот же ковид, и вот эти действия военные, которые вот, тогда мы не смогли ее привести в марте месяце. Потому что после аварии
Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I have to, <coughs> I have to point out that I, I, uh, I can send the original uh, version of uh, my uh, my reference uh, to the Council's Secretary in the due term according to the regulations. And now, if you allow me, I will just go through it briefly in English because we are in the English environment. Um, the international educational mobility in Israel is a factor for forming the knowledge uh, economy. Uh, the topic is very actual nowadays uh, and uh, it contributes uh, along with uh, uh, other migration uh, processes and globalization processes to the development not only of the uh, academic systems uh, bringing and changing and uh, um, exchanging different uh, uh, experiences and, uh, and uh, relevant uh, discussions uh, on the cross-cutting issues in the academic systems, but it also leads to the uh, economic development of uh, both uh, actors, uh, sending countries and, uh, and receiving the countries. That is why we can mention that for the last years the old economies are shocked uh, due to these accelerated globalization processes. Governments feel significant changes, including uh, changing the industrial and employment economy structure and economic spaces as relevant vocational training and foreign trading products and services. Uh, the beginning of this third my, uh, millennium uh, brought uh, also significant change in labor economic structure and human resource utilization. Uh, changes in labor market are based on um, these variables. Uh, technology and the globalization. Therefore, the discussion spread all the most um, labor markets in Western world countries and uh, also describe similar occurrences in uh, these uh, areas. Uh, the trends in the global economic, technological and occupa uh, occupational change focus the world in creating new economic world called knowledge economy. Uh, these trends have professional and comprehensive presentation um, in the thesis chapters. Um, by this, uh, we can uh, mention that globalization has also made changes in the world of academia by developing the academic mobility of students and academic professionals from country to country. Student mobility had great contribution and many governments developed the academic challenge in order to gain a competitive adv advantage in many economic fields in their country. Contribution to employment, contribution to tourism, uh, to population de uh, development and exposure to uh, to new cultures. Uh, and uh, I would like also to mention that Moldova is not an exception. Uh, nowadays, uh, the uh, Moldovan academic systems is uh, realizing that uh, the academic mobility would be beneficial for its further development. Uh, the desire to integrate the local communities and to foreign students uh, are at the top of national priorities in countries as uh, Australia, the United States, Germany and uh, of course uh, some of Eastern European uh, countries. The state of Israel began only recently since uh, 2012 to understand better the foreign student contribution in arriving to study and tries to look at, at its academic integration beyond its financial contribution to the academic institution uh, they started in uh, and uh, the idea is examining uh, also the foreign student uh, arrival contributions to the knowledge economy development in Israel. This was mentioned by the author today during the presentation. Also was done in similar Western uh, uh, countries based on, uh, on the research and based on the experiences uh, the author has uh, analyzed. According to the information presented in the the thesis, um, the state of Israel deals with many security and political problems, the cost of living, declining labor productivity, obsolete agriculture uh, and the industry crisis and recently even lack of relevant employment for the uh, citizens. The thesis engages with uh, uh, the research of academic mobility in uh, Israel as promoting a factor of knowledge economy and the research uh, uh, based its uh, 
find its uh, research its, uh, by the end, uh, findings on in-depth and extensive research of all international trends for a decade and a half, which is uh, which has also influenced uh, Israel's economy in uh, all uh, aspects. As well as international and local trends of academic mobility of students, professors, researchers, uh, and knowledge economy professionals in Israel, both an international student uh, arrival to Israel and uh, in uh, uh, exiting of students and researchers to, to other countries. Uh, the thesis is a, a classical one composed of three chapters. Uh, in the first one, uh, the author did a comprehensive literature um, uh, analysis that presents globalization processes, significance, analysis of term relating, uh, relating to economy and uh, academic education, worldwide academic mobility development, and the economic impact of uh, brain drain. In addition, the researcher presents renewed definitions and uh, examples from academic uh, articles, papers uh, she has uh, uh, published uh, during, uh, uh, during writing uh, the, uh, the thesis, and uh, all of uh, those uh, publications are uh, referenced in, uh, in the first uh, chapter as well. Uh, the second chapter is uh, um, more comprehensive uh, with regard to the methodological process and aspects developed by the author, starting with, formulation, with the formulation of the research problem, the research questions, hypotheses and tools to examine the research uh, topics uh, based on the, on the uh, regulations and on, on the requirements uh, uh, in, uh, developed by the the uh, corresponding bodies, uh, the, I, I mean uh, our anachet body, to, in order to, 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 to meet the requirements uh, uh, for, this, uh, for this chapter. And the, the third one analyzes the data and maps of the situation in Israel, uh, in Israel with, uh, with an emphasis uh, on the constitutional and strategic weaknesses of the academic establishment in uh, that country. Uh, the thesis presents how Israel treated the academic mobility issue, both of Israeli students uh, and of international students arriving to study in, uh, in Israel. Uh, uh, a very uh, good and uh, uh, deep uh, uh, analysis, uh, analysis was done in examining the data and uh, comparing it to current economic products in uh, values of national products, international product occupation, and uh, uh, the phenomenon of uh, brain drain. The results uh, meanings uh, are examined by comparison to other countries uh, to, uh, the, to such developed, uh, with such developed economies like uh, Germany, Japan, the United States, Australia, and uh, of course uh, Eastern and uh, Western European um, uh, countries. Uh, this chapter also combines quantitative research of students, researchers, economists, and managers in Israel who are asked in a questionnaire about their personal feelings and the research results were used to final formulation and to finalize the final uh, conclusions on the research products and confirmation of the, on, of the author's research hypothesis. Along with using statistical tools, the researcher uh, analysis the economic uh, uh, impact uh, on the economic, social, occupational uh, status in, uh, in Israel and analyzes uh, the local initiations uh, that were aimed to, uh, to bridge the uh, accumulating gaps in, uh, in the discussed, uh, in previously discussed paper and uh, uh, issues. Uh, one of the one of the uh, best author's contribution is uh, uh, observed and can be highlighted in the fourth uh, chapter of the uh, thesis where the researchers discussed and emphasized uh, the, finding, uh, uh, and the findings and, and the way to implement and adjust uh, gradual and systematic activity to improve the state's economic abilities by learning models from other successful countries. Uh, the chapter proposes in this regard uh, some theoretic economic models uh, that finds the correlation between academic mobility and uh, developing the knowledge economy abilities in uh, Israel and uh, 
uh, we have to conclude uh, that we completely agree with the, with the approach and with the uh, final research, uh, results of, uh, of, the, of the proposed uh, uh, model. The scientific innovation and uh, the solved research problem uh, uh, in the research is a direct result of the main uh, goals uh, and uh, their achievement as well as researchers' secondary goals as proposed uh, by herself. The scientific innovation is composed of the following sections, innovative definitions of the correlation, of the co correlation between academic mobility and the uh, knowledge economy as expressed in the um, wo uh, world and uh, in uh, Israel, uh, taking into account this, the local uh, specific innovative proposal for implementing a new structural mechanism that will coordinate between uh, the factors treating academic mobility and improving human abilities of those who engage knowledge economy in Israel, providing the theoretic economic model attempt to find the main directions in which the country has to invest in order to improve knowledge economy in Israel regarding uh, the product and service uh, uh, sector production, identifying the factors influencing brain drain uh, reduction in Israel along with uh, maximizing uh, its uh, economic uh, abilities. And finally, the proposal to establish a mechanism that includes a recommendation with priorities and to currently provide the essential steps in order to improve the abilities of modern economy and industry in, in, uh, in Israel. The research achieved the solution to the scientific problem that uh, uh, composed of, uh, is composed of global processes and trends conceptualization in the academic field of and knowledge economy which include the reapplication to increase the demand for academic mobility of foreign, for, foreign students and using the, the arrival to increase the knowledge economy in Israel. Uh, analyzing the recommendations and uh, implementing the conclusions uh, and the proposed economic model, uh, uh, we can say that it will open also new uh, international horizons for the uh, development of uh, the uh, Israel's national economy uh, export of products and services, creating uh, training solutions for, for a part of the population that is associated with traditional and outdated industry. Also, this new economic vision will lead to the development of the new and more advanced economic abilities and improve Israel's uh, status as a knowledge economy power and as an international academic uh, center. The research conclusions and recommendations. Uh, the thesis conclusions uh, as uh, uh, in uh, each one of the chapters and uh, the final summary chapter are professionally written, scientifically formulated and uh, uh, provide real response to the economic and academic needs of higher education in Israel. The research deals with additional problems and the implications of knowledge economy in Israel and the world and therefore proposes several applicable solutions to cope with uh, local occupational challenges on one hand and on the other hand with the brain drain problem uh, in Israel. And uh, we have to state that such uh, problems uh, and um, uh, such characteristics are also specific uh, for the uh, Moldovan economy and, and the Moldovan, uh, the Moldovan uh, um, state of things in, uh, in the field of, uh, of education and research. Uh, despite of the fact that Moldova is much, much uh, less developed that, uh, than Israel. It uh, was also done <coughs> very intelligent and uh, we consider a um, um, fine uh, manner, uh, uh, providing the economic, cultural, occupational means uh, that may reduce the, uh, the, the grow, this growing uh, phenomenon. The most significant conclusion describes uh, the next information innovation after fully extracting the data and analyzing uh, the uh, requirements of integrating foreign students, changing the occupational policy for local students and occupational economic aspects that should upgrade the employee population in uh, Israel. The researchers' conclusions and recommendations provide the Educational Institute in Israel with the necessary tools required to cope with uh, this global trend. Uh, however, uh, <coughs> as we uh, always try to, to, to provide some, uh, some additional uh, uh, room uh, for improvement, we can also uh, note, uh, note and we have some remarks uh, uh, that probably should be mentioned in order, in order to, 
to broaden this uh, this uh, research to a further level of development, and I would state with the first one the relevance of the study and the dynamism of the processes in this area suggest, in our opinion, the need for constant monitoring of the situation and annual info, uh, information of the government about the changes that are taking place, uh, which implies the importance of continuing the research of the problem by the author in the future. And secondly, we can recommend the author in her favorite research to deepen this scope of exploration in the direction of studying um, the impact um, because the mobility of students was very much affected by the pandemic, and we recommend to, <coughs> maybe as a future uh, development opportunity to study the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the transformation of educational environment and, mobil and mobility mechanisms in the medium term. Um, this, of course, does not reduce the value of the work done by the UFA. Uh, the, the thesis meets the requirements of the National Agency for Quality Assurance and Educational and Education and Research. Uh, our local abbreviation, ANACEP. It is written at a high level, both in terms of content and the design, and the author of the, the thesis, uh, Ms. Masri Bushra, deserves the title of the Doctor of Economic Studies on the specialization uh, 521.03, Economics and Management in the Field of Activity. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. And now Юля, Юля, у нас есть ваша рецензия. Скажите ваше заключение. Заключение по рецензии. Положительное, понятно. Заслуживает она значит, присвоения ученой зва, ученого звания? Да. Да. По, по специальности менеджмент в отраслях, в отраслях экономики, да? Конечно. Конечно. Окей. Okay. В работе использованы инновационные технологии, упоминание о главнейшей проблеме Израиля – утечка мозгов, а также о методиках борьбы с этим явлением. И я считаю, что работа достойна. Thank you.
I recommend that the author continue after the defense of his research and to strengthen the attractiveness of the higher education for international students in a constantly changing environment as this indicated mm -hmm. lead to decrease in the post-pandemic period of COVID-19. In the future, together with the administration, is uh, developing a legislative mechanism in deep in the applied accommodation of transforming the status and the role of the local authorities because of the end of the process they will be the factor that unit and implement the program. The COVID-19 crisis has opened up an opportunity for more hybrid learning, which is basically an integration of traditional and distance study. And in the future, after the defense, I recommend the author to study this possibility to further research, to continue research. Uh, presented work indicates that a thorough in depth analysis of the study program uh, was carried out. The structure and uh, content of the thesis meets the requirement of national agency of quality assurance in education and research, and the author uh, uh, must read Basra, the discerned the title of PhD in economics. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now <coughs> it's, um, we'll ask you mm -hmm. to answer the recommendation which you received from the uh, official reference. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Thank you. Say thank you. That you, you, you agree. Recommendation can you tell is this uh, in the presentation? No, the, the talk he ask you if you are uh, agree with all the recommendations of yes. the people okay. that are adopting yes, this. Yes, I am. Yes, I am agree. And uh, you will implement this in future research of your activity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, now we'll uh, begin discussion on the scientific, the scientific value of the thesis in which all interested parties participate. Please. Okay. Uh, Level to cover the shortage in various economic uh, areas of uh, the states. The author of the thesis recognizes an opportunity to combine the academic mobility with the effects of the knowledge economy in order to create the possibility of international relation amongst other countries in order to exchange knowledge and economy ability concerning joint industrial topics. At the same time, the brain drain phenomenon from major occupational fields such as medicine, engineering, research, architecture, industry and other derived from the Greek mobility of populations 
particularly, particularly from the developing countries to those who have uh, already developed and uh, whose uh, blueprint is formed by the possibility of applying to the academic mobility programs. On the other hand, uh, since conducting academic mobility and uh, having, uh, having um, direct influence on uh, knowledge economy, both in developing the state abilities uh, due to uh, prepare human research utilization and uh, due to establishing uh, right policy uh, that uh, um, preserve the knowledge economy in the country. In the above uh, mentioned uh, context, I am considering that the topic of the uh, doctoral thesis presented for evaluation is uh, current and important both in the theoretical, scientific and in the practical framework. The author uh, applied diverse methodologies in the research, including techniques and methods specific, uh, specific to the management domain, demonstrating the ability to utilize multiply instruments of research. The application of uh, comparative qualitative research whose purpose uh, uh, has to identify uh, care factors influencing knowledge economy professions and the modeling method which allows to identify variable necessity in the recommendation in improvement in a national program proposed by the researcher. The utilization of uh, analytical method allows uh, the uh, author to highlight factors that contribute to the lowering of productivity, pro productivity uh, such as uh, the first, a low rate of capital investment and a low rate of uh, overall technological development and product production efficiency. And uh, second, the level of education uh, as a measure of human capital and the close policy of uh, combining a labor force from uh, other countries. I'm mentioning that the methodology uh, selected and applied by the author in the scientific research is relevant and uh, denotes that it is uh, wholly within the specialty economics and management in the field of activity. Scientific innovation and originality consist uh, of the development of the management model, which is supposed to provide a hand, uh, hands-on affair for uh, combined needs, the increase of influence of higher education, education students of the knowledge economy and an and, uh, and, and most uh, insight of the human resource which exists in Israel. As part of the research, the author de developed the questionnaire consisted of um, 15 questions. The researcher presented uh, question questionnaire findings, um, quantitatively tested with experiment tests and adapting variables for correlation testing. The second study has comparative qualitative research whose purpose was, has to identify car factors influencing knowledge economy professions to identify variable improvement in a national program. The results uh, obtained after analysis and direct the author in developing uh, the economic model for implementation in the Israel system and highlight the factors affecting the uh, reduction of um, outbound academic mobility by increasing employment opportunities, especially in the low industry. The proposed model will be offered to state uh, authorities, but previously proposed for implementation in local authorities in the uh, southern region of the country when it is implemented. In the research and developed um, 
developed the national mechanism for contribution of academic mobility and local economy, which allows to be built from a national mechanism with um, extension to each professional field. This mechanism was implemented in two authorities and will increase the uh, demand and um, arrival international students, the development of the local economy and the cessation of brain drain. The practical results are also recommended to the Ministry of the Economy and the <coughs> Ministry of Finance should formulate a detailed uh, multi-year work plan with defined uh, produ productivity targets for, for um, primary and secondary sector and action in the following uh, fields. Expanded investment grant programs to allow companies to acquire technological improvement that boost labor productivity. These programs should include accelerated, accelerated depreciation and tax rates uh, comparable to those set for export sectors. Uh, carrying out a complex and systemic research, the author uh, managed to present in the thesis the main hypothesis, arguments, analysis and proposals on the essential and important application problem, redefining and identifying the characteristics and processes related to the academic mobility of native and international students in Israel. The formulation of the research uh, purpose is well uh, determined and the studying ob objectives are logically formulated which are direct uh, towards the necessary investigation to determine the positive uh, influence of academic mobility on the knowledge economy in Israel. Uh, quality of general conclusion and recommendations, which is a uh, mandatory element according to the regulations in uh, force presented in the final part of the paper, uh, summarizes with the most important ideas that are formulated and, and described explicitly, being briefly presented at the end of each chapter. The author's personal contribution is uh, also highlighted, uh, emphasizing the significance of the um, theoretical study and uh, its uh, applicative value throughout the investigation and the uh, analysis carried out respectfully the implementation of the obtained results to contribute to minimizing the trend of brain drain from the knowledge economy in Israel. Uh, content and scientific contribution of the research which are based on research objectives have been reflected in um, 18 scientific papers with the participation in scientific and scientific practical conference at national and international level. Application in international and category BC journals in Poland, Romania, Spain, India and Israel. And in conclusion, examination of Mrs. Mashri Bushra's doctoral dissertation allows us to conclude <coughs> that this is an original scientific research, useful both theoretically and applied. Considering the topicality of the research topic, its originality, the review of val uh, valorization of the research and the scientific novelty, as well as the results obtained based on the theoretical uh, and practical study, the conclusions formulated and the recommendations for use by the relevant institutions. I consider the doctoral thesis international academic mobility in Israel as a factor in the formation of the knowledge economy corresponds to the requirements of an check for doctoral thesis and the author of the research Masri Bushra deserved by 
to be uh, award uh, the scientific titles of Doctor of Economics in the Specialty 521.03, Economics and Management in the Field of Activity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You are the answer on the finish of our Okay. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Stimate domnul președinte, stimați colegi, stimate doamnă pretendent, eu am să vorbesc succint, dar în română, dacă se poate. Okay. Teza de doctor prezentată astăzi pe susținere, elaborată de doamna pretendentă, se impune prin actualitatea și importanța sa teoretică și practică, precum rezervele de studiere a ei sunt enorme, atât în cercurile științifice, atât din țara noastră, cât și în Israel, chiar și în lume, precum și în cercurile celor cu interesați de problemele mobilității academice sau de managementul mobilității academice internaționale și, în ultimul rând, influenței ei asupra economiei cunoașterii. Fapt ce determină actualitatea temei de cercetare în cadrul acestei teze de doctor. Scopul și sarcine trasate o determinat structura tezii, care este structurată după o logică întemeiată pe probleme teoretice și practice, evidențind particularitățile caracteristice domeniului de cercetare. Pornind de la scopurile și obiectivele trasate în teză, a sintezei conceptelor teoretice și metodologice a managementului mobilității academice a studenților din învățământul superior, ca factor de influență și promovarea domeniilor și subiectelor economiei cunoașterii de Israel, constatate după totalizările, generalizările efectuate de autor în teză și după rezultatele cercetărilor științifice, proprii bazate pe date concrete, economice, sociale și manageriale, după conținutul tezii, conținutul concluziile, recomandările efectuate de autor, se poate concluziona că această lucrare prezintă și are în conținut inovare științ inovație științifică. Merită atenție noutatea științifică care este prezentată în lucrare, dar în deosebi elaborarea unei metodologii științifice inovatoare bazate pe analiza multidisciplinară, care indică indicatorii care reprezintă relații dintre mobilitatea academică a studenților din învățământul superior și cei cu profesii economico-tehnologice pentru economie, industria statului, pragul de angajare și mai ales acumularea de cunoștințe avansate. Valoarea aplicativă a lucrării este determinată de posibilitatea utilizării ideilor de cercetare, concluziilor și recomandărilor în mecanismele învățământului superior, a Ministerilor Economiei și Ocupării Forței de Muncă și a autorităților locale, subliind totodată adaptarea necesară la cultura decizională și caracteristici unice ale statului Israel. Benefic este faptul că modelul care a fost elaborat de doamna pretendent și ideile de cercetare au fost deja implementate în două autorități locale din Israel. Ca concluzie generală, aș putea să spun că teza de doctor în științe economice prezentată spre susținere este o lucrare științifică originală cu rezultate principiale noi pentru știință și practică. Caracter terminat, finalizată, concluzii teoretice și propuneri practice bazate pe date concrete a rezultatelor cercetărilor științifice efectuate de autor. Apreciind în ansamblu cercetările științifice efectuate în lucrare, consider că această teză corespunde cerințelor Ana Cep, a Republicii Moldova, iar doamna Masri Bușra merită conferirea gradului științific de doctor în științe economice la specialitatea 52103 Economie și Management în domeniul de activitate. Vă mulțumesc, sunt eu. Pe scurt, despre...
especially with the efficiency of the management of educational mobility based on the research uh, carried out. In uh, <coughs> substantiating the issue, the author starts logically from methodological concept to experimental ones through the wide use of information, statistics, analysis and interpretation that have been ingeniously selected and well argued. Starting precisely from the quality of the paper represents both theoretical and applied research in such a current issue as that of corporate of, you know, management in, uh, <coughs> in educational mobility. The research approach the research uh, undertaken is appropriate to the chosen title, namely International Educational Mobility in Israel, as a factor for forming the knowledge economy, which represents uh, theoretical methodological analysis, studies, uh, logical argumentation, with data and uh, statistical information, with the application of some solutions offered by the methodological system. And, uh, that the research undertaken is based on the all founded argumentation and cooperative analysis with scientific presentation and uh, interpretation. From a methodological point of view, comparative analysis is used throughout the descriptive work with uh, interpretative accents. At the same time, analysis and synthesis and uh, uh, induction and uh, deduction we are combined. Analyze it as a whole, but also in the component parts, the work is one with uh, a scientific character, well organized and uh, structured. In conclusion, the doctoral thesis that the uh, uh, author proposed and uh, completed is uh, of uh, the level that meet the current requirement of the development of such a work is why in these general lines it fulfills the unchecked conditions. An overview of the research undertaken by the doctoral student highlights a work of a good scientific level and enough elements of personal contribution. By taking into account the aspects mentioned in the bar, as well as uh, the scientific value of the work, its structure and uh, uh, substitution, we appreciate that the doctoral thesis with the title International Educational Mobility in Israel as a factor for forming the knowledge economy meets the condition of uh, Anacek. And uh, our is the title of Doctor in Economy, uh, Economic Sciences of uh, Mrs. Uh, Bushra Mastery, uh, the specialty 52103, Economics and Management in the Field of Activity. <coughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Somebody want to? Yeah, I would like to say some words. Uh, well, I think the idea of the, these studies are very uh, relevant to a lot of countries, also for Moldova and of course for Israel. The academic mobility is one of the uh, issues in the modern world. There is a lot of students which move from one country to another, study a lot of uh, factualities and some of them are coming back to their country and some of them are not. In Israel we got a problem for about 15 years of the phenomenon of brain pain. It means, I don't know if you know that, about more than 16,000 students every year goes out from Israel to other countries. And the faculty that they are going are not just regular. You, you, you can find doctors, you can find engineers, you can find the, a lot of kind of industry, even also art. And I don't know if most of them, but part of them are not coming back. So that's how they make, of course we make, in Israel, the brain drain by our hands. 
And I know that this Moldova has the same problem. Okay? So what these studies are uh, trying to promote is to get to create the answer and to solve the problems inside the country. So every time we have some student will, that will go out, we cannot stop them. But the, this idea, the, the ideas of these studies are trying to make him to come back. Okay? And what the studies are uh, trying to, uh, try to suggest, it's uh, some like a, 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 a better level of, uh, of uh, taxes, a little bit of, uh, of salary, and uh, uh, of course, the create more uh, uh, employment uh, options. And if the country will not do it, as, as you see in the, uh, in the implemented letters, we found some uh, municipality in the south of the country, they do that, and then they found that the students which go out are coming back. Well, I think. These studies are, making, are made by uh, a good ends, by the good ideas, and I really uh, recommend her to give her the uh, PhD degree because she has uh, deep research. She has a, a deep research on this issue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Somebody wanted to ask. Thank you very much. Now, this is your answer to all of the uh, suggestions. Objections. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, all your recommendations and the uh, open news. Uh, I uh, will uh, continue my research and uh, uh, use uh, your recommendation in the future. Thank you for uh, your uh, attention and uh, time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, the scientific secretary will uh, inform us about the decision of our council today. Do președinte, partea constatatorie, dacă spate, noi am ascultat doar teza de la până la urmă. Nu are rost nici toate foile. Consiliul Vă voi informa referitor la procesul verbal privind rezultatele votării membrilor Consiliului Științific Specializat D52103-2154 din cadrul Universității Libere Internaționale din Moldova. 24 noiembrie 2022. În vederea conferirii gradului științific de doctor în științe economice, specialitatea 52103, economie și management în domeniul de activitate, doamnei Masri Busra, în baza susținerii publice a tezei de doctor în științe economice, cu titlul International Educational Mobility in Israel as a Factor for Forming the Knowledge Economy. Pro, au votat 5. Contra, 0. Acum supunem votului. Cine este pentru a 
Deci, aprobat procesul verbal, vă rog să votați, membrii. Mersi mult. Acum? Hotărârea o votăm încă o dată, da? Da. Hotărârea Consiliului Științific Specializat de 521032154 din cadrul Universității Liberi Internaționale din Moldova. Doamna secretar va informa. De ce? Rog să votați. Cine este pentru? Mulțumesc mult. Și acum ce a rămas la noi? Ultim pentru un candidat și încheiem și noi. Now, we have again to see something about today's meeting. Thank you, thank you very much, all the body. I am happy now. All the all the year, uh, it's the uh, study to the doctorate and the in the Moldova. Uh, it's uh, not easy, but I uh, I like to the all the center. <laughs> the activity all here. The, uh, I am now uh, speak Arabic and it, Hebrew and English <laughs> and Moldovan. <laughs> but I am uh, uh, so happy. So thank you very much uh, to the everybody. Okay. Thank you very much. We congratulate you. Yeah. And uh, we wish you to continue your research in your life. Yeah. And you will be more happy than today. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, now I will declare the session of this uh, Specialized Scientific Council closed.